make you shout, I gotta make you happy. If you're gonna walk with God, it's gonna have to be in His Word. Amen. If you're gonna have any victory in your relationship with God, if you're in church, you're gonna have to know the Word. I'm gonna say it again. You know what? It, it, this is hard to preach. Because many people don't want to hear this because there's, there's too much uh, uh, responsibility to pick up the word for yourself. But that's why you don't stay in church. That's why you keep running here and running there and trying to find the next ministry. Because it ain't the ministry, it's you! Amen! If you're going to walk with God, you got to be responsible for picking up this word. There's no victory outside of this. I don't care what message you hear. You got to know this word and stand on it. Stand in the Lord and the power of his might. John, though, you going to have to know the promises. When all hell break loose, you're going to have to be able to put on the promise. As you're going to quit. I'm just being honest about it, you. Uh, I wish I had a happy message for my birthday service. But if you don't know the promises, when the evil day comes, you're going to quit. Shut up. Or you will come to church and dance. Shut up. But if you don't have nothing to stand on, you will come defeated. Can I really get in your spirit this morning? Can I really get in the spirit of those who want victory in your life this morning? You have to learn how to dig yourself into this word and stand. Therefore, having a large girl about the truth. And having on the breastplate of Christ, I feel like I'm losing everybody, but I still got to preach it. He sent me to talk to somebody this morning. You have to understand that standing does not mean you sit here wilting away. Standing means I know who I am in Christ. I know what I have in Christ. And I'm not going to believe nothing else you tell me, devil. I'm going to stand on what's been written. I'm going to stand on what's been prophesied. It don't look like it's working. And I don't, oh, come on, now talk to me here. It don't look like nothing, but I'm going to stand on it because God said it. I don't know why. Because your constitution is all about what is written. Somebody say amen. Your constitution, let me take you a little deeper into this. He says, Q, the enemy's going to use a lot of schemes, a lot of tricks, because he's after who you are and what you have. Amen. You're not fighting the devil to get anything. I'm going to teach this morning. He's already blessed you. You're not fighting the devil to be holy. You're already holy. Amen. You're not fighting him to be righteous. You're already righteous. You're not fighting him for promises. You already have promises. What he's trying to do is fight you to get you out of where you at. Somebody say amen. amen. He wants you to begin to focus on yourself and focus on your flesh and focus on what you see and focus on how you feel. And now you believe you better him to get something that you already have. I'm preaching good, you know. I'm preaching good. Thank you, Otis. I'm preaching good. Somebody, I'm preaching good, you know. I'm really preaching good. If you can get this, it's going to help you. What he's battling you about is trying to take away what you have. You don't have to fight the devil for nothing. All you got to do is stand. But you got to be able to stand and he convince you you lost. My God help me in him. Preach it, Count Wheeler. Preach it, Apostle. I'm going to preach it. I'm going to preach it. If you believe, you got to be able to stand when it looks like you're losing. It's nothing but a faith test. And I declare to you this morning, everybody wants a testimony, but nobody wants a test. In double high. And God's going to use you greatly in any area. It's going to come through testing. Yeah, and it's a time of testing when the enemy shows up and they get yapping. It's that your wilderness experience when he shows up to convince you that God forgot you. And God don't care about you. And your prayer ain't being answered. And your time was off. And you, you missed this day. You missed that devil. Is a, a double hook. It's a lie. He's trying to get He's trying to get you out of what you're Someone say, get it now. I need someone to have some faith. I have it right now. Everything is mine right now. Everything that he promised me is mine right now. I'm a millionaire right now. Glory to God. I'm a walking in it. Really manifest. But I'm already that. He's trying to convince me to make decisions to take me out of what's coming. But I'm a millionaire. Someone help me say, mine right now. Get that devil upset. Let him know that you're not falling for his tricks. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Wonderful thing he didn't say here. Be strong in your prayer life. Be strong in your gifts. Be strong in your anointing. Let me tell you something. As gifted and anointed as you are, in this warfare, 
If you trust in your own self, you are lose.
Somebody say amen. amen. It ain't grandmama. It ain't how your mama raised you. That, that might have something to do.